Hello, welcome to Two Guys Tech. We have a guest today. This is Brandon. We're gonna help him build a custom home NAS running free NAS. Brandon, are you ready? Let's do this. So this is the first time we actually had Brandon on a show. Brandon is kind of behind the scenes and does a lot of our, our social media and a lot of our planning stuff for videos. And now we've got him on the show and you wanna build this home NAS for yourself. So I wanna know, uh, why you chose to do this on your own versus buying something from Synology or some some commercially made product and what you're planning on using it for. So I originally bought this on my own just because I wanted to build a PC and be able to interchange parts at will. So okay. if I want to upgrade on my disk, I can just do that. If I want to upgrade my GPU, which I currently don't have, but you know, want to do those things at will, I don't have to worry about getting a whole new box. Whereas if I went with QNAP or if I went with Synology, I have to do those things. Mm -hmm. um, the other big advantage that I chose of why I chose FreeNAS as my uh, NAS solution is that it runs on ZFS. Um, and if power was to go out my ho house or something, like that, I wouldn't have to worry about it. ZFS is that redundant. Okay. Um, but what this is basically going to be doing is it's going to be in my home lab and it's going to be the storage for all of my VMs uh, that I run on my EXI host okay. at the end of the day. So. Cool. One question. Yeah. Why are you too good for Synology? I Why mean, am I too it's good? What we use here <laughs> in the studio. I think it works great. I just want to know what what actually like I'm I can't do this. Two guys tech so, does this. I need to improve. Go so, on. A solid question to ask. Well, currently I have a lot of drives. Eight of them. Uh, if I want to buy an eight bay Synology, that's I don't know six hundred to a thousand dollars. Yeah, dude, it's uh, not cheap. It's man. not cheap. You it's do not. get a lot with it. Right, that's right, I'm right. not disagreeing with that, and I'm not saying it's a bad product by any means. I think it's a great one, and I think it's perfect for if you just want a plug and play solution. Synology, send him an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> All right. So enough talk. Let's let's uh, let's let's talk about the hardware you chose, and let's get to building this machine. What do you say? Let's do it. Let's look at the hardware. The core of our system will be powered by a Ryzen 3 3200G. At 3.6 gigahertz, this four core, four thread processor should give us plenty of horsepower to run our free NAS. The 3200G also comes with an integrated APU, which means we don't need a graphics card. Moving on to the RAM, we'll be installing 32 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz RAM. The memory speed is not incredibly important in this build, but we'll need all 32 gigabytes as iX Systems recommends one gigabyte per terabyte of disk capacity. The motherboard is an ASUS ROG Strix B450F gaming motherboard. The board has six SATA ports and three 16X PCIe expansion slots. Filling those PCI slots will be two expansion cards, an 8-port SATA pass-through card, and a Dell Broadcom 10 gigabit dual-port SFP Plus adapter. The 8-port SATA pass-through card will allow us to connect all eight hard drives, and the Dell card will give us that sweet, sweet 10 gig networking. Speaking of the drives, we'll be using eight two terabyte drives. We recommend that you use two terabyte Seagate IronWolf drives, but regardless of which drives you choose, make sure they're all the same size. This will be incredibly important as FreeNAS does not allow you to mix drive sizes. We will be adding a flash cache, and to do this, we'll be using an IC Dock Hotswap mobile cage, which holds six Samsung 256GB 2.5 inch SSDs. To power this build, we'll be using a Silverstone 550 watt platinum power supply. This should provide more than enough power for our FreeNAS box. We'll be using two USB sticks to install our FreeNAS OS. Finally, we'll be putting this all in an Antec P101 silent case. We chose this case because of the sound insulation padding on the sides and the eight toolless 3.5 inch drive base. We're going to zip through the installation of FreeNAS here because full setup and configuration deserves an entire video. If you're interested in a more detailed how-to video for setting up FreeNAS, please let us know in the comments below. Once you boot from the USB drive in the front, choose install and select our two 16GB USB drives. This will run our FreeNAS OS in a mirrored configuration on the two USBs in the back. Accept the warning and choose fresh install. Create your root password and make sure you have it written down. We will choose boot via UEFI and let the installation proceed. Once complete, it'll reboot and you'll need to set the IP via the console. 
Once this is complete, you'll be able to access it from your web browser. Now you can connect to your FreeNAS via the web browser using its IP address and you're ready to go. All right, and now to the conclusion, and this is where John finds out what happened because some of us have to work for a living and these guys were so excited. I got a text saying, hey, we have some footage for you to now. <laughs> so I want to hear about this. All right, so let's start with the case. I mean, the case was really easy to work in. Uh, I love that it had those eight toolless drive bays. I could just pop the hard drives in there and slot them in the case. It worked out perfectly. Uh, the rest of that, you know, it had the Asus motherboard. You can't say anything too bad about that. Mm -hmm. You've got your Ryzen, which is plenty to power it. Um, and FreeNAS, you know, once we posted everything, it just lit up everything, uh, went well and found all the drives. Pretty simple install. But man, I, I didn't imagine how heavy it would be. I should have yeah. known, but it just got really heavy once I realized, you know, oh yeah, eight, eight terabyte drives, or sorry, eight two terabyte drives full of metal in there. Pretty heavy in the end, but I don't think I just had a grasp of, you know, the real weight of it at the end. The gravity of it. So question. Yeah. Does the girlfriend mind that this is in the bedroom closet? I it's mean, how loud the, is this thing? It's in the garage. Oh, garage. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for our video today. This is a little different for us, so if you liked it, please let us know. Thank you to Brandon for joining us today. Uh, if you wanna see more about this topic, you know where the comments are, just let us know and we will get these guys back together and work on that. And if it's the first time you've seen us, please consider subscribing because it really helps us out and keeps us making these videos. We've got a website right here where we put all of the results from all the testing we do, the fans, CPU coolers, and all that stuff. Obviously no testing this video, but that's where it goes. We're on Instagram and Twitter at Two Guys Tech, so consider following us there. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.